Switch is an automation tool for both OS X and Windows that can automate a whole host of repetitive tasks that are very often still done manually. Switch is built up in a modular way around a core engine and a number of modules that extend its functionality. This movie focuses exclusively on the configurator module. You should have watched the movie on Switch Core Engine before this one. The purpose of the configurator module is to add support for integrating third-party applications in Switch. The functionality of Switch expands enormously owing to the large number of so-called configurators that become available. These configurators allow Switch to control when and how a third-party application is being run within a flow. Many applications, and let's take Pitstop Server as an example, offer some form of automation through the use of hot folders. However, this approach has limitations. Unless only one hot folder is ever needed, which is unlikely, it is up to the user to decide in what folder to drop a file. And Pitstop Server's hot folders only automate Pitstop Server tasks. In other words, the level of automation that can be achieved in this way is limited. Adding the configurator module to Switch Core Engine overcomes these limitations. It gives you the ability to use Switch as the glue that combines a whole group of third-party applications into an automated end-to-end -end flow. There are a few configurators that add input functions to Switch. The configurators for the Elvis Digital Asset Management System and for the Woodwing Multi-Channel Publishing System scan these systems for files to be processed every so many minutes, in very much the same way as is being done for FTP or mail. It is in the area of processing that the configurator module adds most functionality. There are configurators for third-party applications in different areas, as you can see from the groups in the list of configurators. This list is not complete. It depends on the operating system of your Switch server. Not all third-party applications are necessarily available on both platforms, and new configurators are regularly being added or updated. For the latest information on available configurators, you should consult the Crossroads site, a platform for information on Switch and how to integrate it with other applications. It would lead too far to give a complete overview of all of the available configurators. What all of them have in common is that they have a set of properties that allow the Switch administrator to configure how the third-party application will be used. Many configurators do not have a lot of properties and are therefore really easy to use. If we take the word configurator as an example, you'll see that there is really not a lot to configure and the properties are self-explanatory. Some configurators have more extensive properties, but when you are familiar with a certain application, you will undoubtedly understand how to configure it in Switch. If you do not know Pitstop Server, you will probably not know what to choose for the Preflight Profile property. But if you do, then it requires no further explanation. Let me point out a few very important characteristics of the configurators. First of all, the list of profiles that is presented to the user comes directly from the Pitstop Server application. Any change to this list of available preflight profiles will result in a changed list in Switch. This illustrates how tight and dynamic the integration between Switch and a third-party application is. Secondly, you can always have more than one instance of a configurator in a flow, and you can let Switch choose the correct one to be used. If you want to preflight business cards differently from A5 leaflets, you can easily use the switch routing conditions to make sure the correct instance is used in an automatic way. A third characteristic is that the very extensive list of switch variables can be used to fill in values for most of the configurator properties. If you store the name of the preflight profile in the job state, you can then use that variable to select the correct preflight profile. This feature becomes even more powerful in combination with the metadata module and the database module. But more on that in the movie on those topics. A fourth aspect is that the configurators display a switch-like behavior. They can have outgoing connections with traffic lights, so you can easily deal with files that were processed correctly versus files with which there was a problem. They can pass on the processed file over the data connection and log files over the log connection and so on. And what if you have to integrate an application for which there is no configurator? Well, you have at least two options. When it is an application for which there is a command line interface, you can use the execute command to do that. This element is also useful for running batch files, shell scripts, PHP scripts, and so on. 
When it is an application that supports hot folders, you can use the generic application element to let switch drop files into the input hot folder and pick up the result from an output folder. On OS X, there is also an Apple Automator element with which you can run Automator scripts giving you access to virtually all OS X applications. As already illustrated in the Core Engine movie, most output is done by delivering a job into a folder, FTP or otherwise, from where it is picked up by another software further down the production chain, but configurators can also pass on jobs in a dedicated way. The Elvis and Woodwing configurators mentioned in the part on input have a counterpart to upload files. The HP Indigo Digital Front End and HP Production Center configurators create JDF tickets that are sent to the presses and that contain all possible processing instructions, instructions that can be filled in by the many variables available to switch. The Fiery XF and the Automation Engine configurator can hand off files to the remote system and can launch a particular workflow for further processing. As you could see, the configurator module is not without reason the most popular extension of the Switch Core engine. The third-party applications bring value to Switch by extending its functionality, and Switch brings value to the third-party applications by using them in an intelligent way and by chaining them in the correct order to achieve a real end-to-end -end automation. Be sure to watch the videos on some of the other modules as well to see how these can further expand the power of Switch. Mm -hmm.